here's my new trailer that I got today. I got this in uh, Stanton, about 45 minutes from here. And it's a 5x8 with a uh, ramp type tailgate. I'll demonstrate the tailgate here in a minute. This is a brand new uh, PJ brand, made in Paris, Texas, I believe. 60 inches by 8 feet long. And I told myself that this is going to be the last time I ever loaded stuff into a, lifted stuff into a pickup truck bed when I got those things. And I had enough money saved up to go ahead and buy this trailer. And this should be so much better, not, not only for, uh, for the equipment to avoid damage by having to lift it into a truck bed, but also uh, certainly on my back to keep from having to pivot stuff up into the truck. I figure I only have so many of those lifts in me to be able to lift something, and I don't want to end up hurting myself. Got it hooked up to the Grand Marquis here. I uh, had to reset the timing on the Grand Marquis, but now it starts up really good. I put a temporary fan shroud on here. Let's see if I can get the hood up here. I borrowed the fan shroud off the old gray car. Oh, the, the gray car eventually I'm going to get back going again, but while I had it, it out, I borrowed its fan shroud and put it on here. And it's not exact, it's not an exact fit. Um, but that, it'll be good to get the exact fit one, but I'd like to, I wanted to just try this and see if it would improve the cooling performance. And it really does seem to. The whole time I was driving on the interstate, I drove probably about well, let's see, about an hour and a half on the interstate today, and it never got above uh, 203 degrees or so. Even when I came up to a stoplight coming off the interstate, it didn't get, uh, didn't get much above 205. And then once I got onto the, onto the local streets, it cooled down to about 195 to between 195 and 200 and so I think that a fan shroud plus advancing the timing really contributed to making this run cool the way it should. One time it had got up to 230 degrees in the mall parking lot because it would just, it just was not able to dissipate that heat and probably the retarded timing was was making it run really hot too. So it'll Hopefully, once summertime comes around, it won't be much worse. It was probably about oh, upper so high in the upper 70s to around 80 today. And I had to repair the trailer wiring harness. It had had one originally, but it had deteriorated, and I needed to put a new ground wire on. Luckily, I had found a trailer connector at an estate sale that I had in the storage unit, so I was just able to wire it up. I can turn the, turn the lights on here. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's got front and side marker lamps, and side and rear marker. license plate lamp, tail lights. And this jack just folds down in order to store it. Here's the tailgate in the folded down position. And I can just walk, walk right up it here. 
I may need to end up getting some heavier springs on the Grand Marquis. I haven't tried driving this with a load on the trailer yet, but it looks like we do get some downward force there on the trailer tongue. I think we need to try to keep the load as much over the wheels as possible so that most of it's most of it's back here. So there's the trailer and the next next thing I next big thing I haul is gonna be on this and not on not in the truck bed. It should be so much easier to haul that way.